With the recent reveal of the Persona 3 Reload trailer, I thought I'd take some time to do a little bit of an analysis of the footage that we saw in the trailer. Now, first off, we got to say the graphics are absolutely beautiful. This is more stunning than Persona 5, and that game was absolutely gorgeous. So to say that is it's incredible to me, really, guys. Just it's amazing how far Atlas have come, it really is. But just by looking at the UI, looking at the art style, the graphics, everything about this game is top-notch quality, which is what we always expect from Atlas now, and they certainly have not let us down. The map at the bottom left-hand corner of the screen is on point, everything is just in its place and it looks so good and it's so stylish. In terms of when you're about to run out of time to reach a certain point in Tartarus, it appears that the full moon in the top right hand corner of the UI will become black over time, and obviously the closer it is to becoming fully darkened out will be when the deadline has been reached. Just like the original Persona 3, it seems we can buy our weapons, armor, footwear, accessories, and sell our items at the police station, which is nice to see once again. Tartarus is a funny one for me. From what we could see in the footage, it does seem to be quite similar to the original Persona 3, but only time will tell. I think we need more footage to fully analyze Tartarus, but based off the first impression, I would say it's very similar to what we played in the original Persona 3. The main menu UI, oh my god, I absolutely love it. I love the way it has that ocean feel to it, the way that Minato slash Makoto dives into the water, and then we just have that beautiful UI next to him there. Social links make a return, of course, no more confidants. We are bringing it back to the social links. The calendar, the quests are there, everything is there from the original Persona 3. Of course, we get a quick shot of Elizabeth and Igor, and the way that fusion is done in the game, we get Jack Frost pop up. And then, of course, we get a quick shot of the protagonist's Persona Awakening, and then the title. Let me know what your thoughts are on this game in the comment section below. Subscribe for more Persona content like this video. And until next time, I'll see you later.